So I've got the uh, Cintiq set up here. So this is uh, the Cintiq Pro 24 inch from uh, Wacom and basically it's set up so that, that um, I'm based in Helsinki but the Cintiq and my machine is remote connected to uh, our company machines in Amsterdam. So what you see here is, is, is basically I'm working remotely on a jellyfish machine and this is this is really handy because obviously um, we want our, all our work to be uh, in concisely in one, in one space and also is a lot more secure than working locally so so this is what we do and uh, yeah I can work normally I can open Photoshop I can just start drawing and basically all my work is actually happening somewhere else and in this case in, in Amsterdam somewhere. I think the jellyfish setup is, is pretty unique and, and, and very very efficient in, in that way that we actually can uh, work remotely with each other and, and we have this um, structure uh, where where we are able to share work through the Teradigi connection. We're still able to obviously like chat through uh, our uh, chat programs and and uh, and still be able to be as productive as if we were in the studio. Since we are a uh, animation and VFX studio, like some of our uh, projects or most of our projects um, are sort of in in both of those realms. So we've worked with uh, worked on the uh, HBO's Watchmen series and uh, Lucasfilm Star Wars um, franchise, uh, and then we also made a DreamWorks animation special uh, for the How to Train Your Dragon homecoming um, short animated film. I think there's definitely like many different sources and many different artists that I draw inspiration from. Uh, not just like one one particular person or one particular style or any source specifically. I think it's I think it's definitely more like you know different like media as well, like drawing inspiration from uh, films, both like animated or live action music, um, fine arts and, and, and stuff like that. So, but definitely like pulling different inspirations from like all kinds of sources, uh, depending on sort of what, what interests me uh, at, that, at that moment and at that time. I think every and any artist would struggle with um, some things more and some things less. Um, for me, um, I think it's always like getting uh, getting that like emotion in those characters that I'm drawing um, and getting like personality in there. In my day to day I use Photoshop the, the most. Um, it's just like the go to for, for any concept of artist or designer. It's what I use the most and I have some um, uh, reference tools as well that, that I use. We use a lot of Pinterest where we um, pin uh, mood boards and, and change exchange ideas and and pictures of like, okay, like what could be cool, like just looking for something, some new ideas. The Cintiq pen, like I think for me at least, has always been kind of the the best that I like compare all other tools to. The space between um, the, the actual pen nib and the screen is so little that you don't even really uh, notice it. Um, and I think that's something really important uh, when you draw that you actually uh, have that sort of tactile feeling. The fact that my um, machine is uh, actually located in, in Amsterdam, um, but me working from here uh, through the Teradici and also like having the Wacom set up so that it can do remote work is like, you know, it's 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 the, the next level. It's allowed me to, to really sort of efficiently um, get my work uh, into our servers and into our um, folders and our programs so that you know people can uh, look at it quickly. You kind of need to have everyone kind of work in the same same space even if it's a digital space so so definitely the uh, Wacom and Teradici like connection can do that and that's been like really really useful and uh, uh, saved a lot of like frustration for sure. I started at Jellyfish as a um, as a props designer on a uh, BBC children's animated show um, in 2016, I think that was. And then thereon, uh, I've done 
uh, concept art um, in the studio, then eventually uh, getting into like an art director uh, position where, where I can sort of work with the team, oversee them. I mean, the way we work is, is very, very um, uh, collaborative for sure. And uh, like every day is, is, is quite different. And we do a lot of um, uh, work on, on each other's work, but also, yeah, like this, this side of like, um, directing um, and then also me producing art so it depends on the project it depends on like how many projects we have going on and how many how many people we have in, in the team but I think in general like personally I, I like to be able to actually like do design as well as uh, directing so so uh, it's, it's kind of split but there isn't really like one answer like I can be I can be doing something uh, just, just directing one day or just drawing uh, another day or sometimes it's longer periods of time of like kind of juggling both. Uh, one of the things that Teradici have done a really good job at um, with working with Wacom was of course is something called the endpoint termination. Now what this means is that the sensitivity in the Wacom device is actually terminated locally on the user's PC and this really really helps with dealing with uh, Wacom and pressure sensitivity and anything related to that. Because we can use Wacom devices with Teradici, it allows us to scale up and down um, via um, a public cloud like Microsoft Azure or a data center. This can be globally, so you're not just tied to one uh, geographical area, but you're really, we really are now seeing the ability to spin up resources on demand and then to basically and then to spin them down on demand as well. The uh, the end result being is that we're going to have you know more and more remote artists, more and more um, basically studios based elsewhere, um, who are going to be able to basically uh, work under the same technology umbrella that allows our users to easily exchange assets and uh, all of this all of this data that people need access to to do their job effectively. So it's a really exciting time. Um, Teradici and Wacom have made great inroads over the past um, 18 months to two years, and it's only going to get better on from here on out.